So we're in my studio and this is the place where I often assemble a lot of my pieces so that I can just see that I'm really happy with them and how they look. So I'm just going to try on this woven piece and see how it looks. Let's just check in the mirror. So I quite like how it's how it sits and how it displays because I like to see one whether it's the neck piece that works with it. So another example is I've used this, um, I've been weaving, doing Japanese weaving, so this is an eight strand weave which I've used on a similar piece. I've always been fascinated with weaving and what I've done is I've woven silver. It actually took me a couple of years to work out how to do the technique in a way that I was most happy with. I'm not sure if I use specifically Chinese techniques that go back a long time, but certainly I like the use of pattern where I'm combining like Asian patterns and say Maori pattern. And a good example of that is my Ko Fai Fai design there, um, which I have developed where I like to think it's my combination of um, Asian and New Zealand Maori upbringing. Well, the lucky or pieces of eight, eight is the most auspicious number in the Chinese culture and it represents good luck, good fortune. And Chinese is all about pronunciation and sometimes but, which is the number eight, can also sound like wealth or good luck. So on my pieces, you'll usually find you know, obvious eights or you'll see a stamp of an eight somewhere which is conveying good luck or good fortune for the wearer or the person that um, received the gift of eight. Well initially, in terms of a Chinese setting, my grandparents didn't really speak much English because they'd come from China to escape the Japanese invasion. So in many ways, when we were spending time with my grandparents, it was very Chinese. And part of it was the values that they just imparted um, to us as their grandchildren. And I think from mum and dad's perspective, it was very much about, you know, being family, working hard and doing the best that you could. And what they said to all of us children, the six kids, was you can study whatever you want, we will pay for all that education because we know that's going to set you up in this world and give you better opportunities than what we had. Although having said that, I adore my father because he was one of the first Chinese to graduate from Otago Dental School. And he practiced till he was, I think, 83. Hands steady as. As a result of Dad um, going to Otago, going to university, and breaking new ground and fresh ground, that inspired me to want to learn but also explore the world. But the other aspect of it was for my mother, she actually had to leave school early and go and work in the fruit shop. And I just remember mum saying to me, you know, education's a real privilege, but it will open the world for you. And it really has done that. And I think as a philosophy in our family, we are forever learning.